it, it's about tradition. That's all it is. It's tradition. For the majority of us to that are retired, or in some cases, some of us have just taken the day off of work to come help put this on and spread the word through some of these other high society people who are kind of stuck in their own little world of this is, you know, I, I got to eat at a high-end restaurant. You get the true, true food, like from the old country. It's made from the heart. It's not what we put in it. It's made from the heart. Uh, this morning, for example, there's another gentleman that helped me. We peeled 2,800 pounds of potatoes, 50-pound bags, at, from midnight to 4:30 this morning. 2,800 pounds of potatoes is a lot of potatoes. This is on a Thursday. A picnic is on a Saturday and Sunday. What we had here, the stew, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, all of these 14 containers you see here now will have double batches of stew in them on a weekend. And we still run out of food. Unbelievable. Oh, chicken. They ran out of chicken. We just go to Shiner and get some more chicken. We're not talking 10 pounds, we're talking maybe a thousand pounds more, and maybe more. There was one year, there was no chicken to be found, so we had to go to Weimar and we bought 800 pounds of sausage. And we boiled sausage. It's, it's unbelievable. But it's, so you have to put the meat to order in months and months. Oh, oh, oh yes, oh yes. And, well, I guess everybody knows, whoever well, supplies, they know. Well, let me go back a few years as yeah. a child, too. Yeah. Farmers, we butchered. Well, we belonged in a meat club. Every Friday, it was a calf that was butchered, and, and that that calf was the, the, the meat was divided amongst five other families that lived in your surrounding area around the farm. You got your cut of meat. You got your meat that you wanted. Everybody got their, their particular cut of meat. And then the following Saturday, about tw uh, twice a month, we butchered the hog in the cooler weather, like in wintertime. And that we made our sausage, smoked our hands, and on and on and on. But, you know, back then we didn't have refrigerators. So this meat club, you butchered, processed, and smoked meats that went into a smokehouse or into a crock jar. It was a preserve. And, well, we had... We had every conceivable type of meat on the farm, from, from lambs and sheep and cows and chickens and guineas and turkey and, oh, you name it. I mean, we had everything. And our own veggies. To, to go to the to go into town to, uh, it was very, uh, very seldom. We had coffee. Grandma and mom would buy a bowl of, of material to make somebody a dress. But sugar and flour, just a necessity. But also, en route to town, we, we took maybe a sack of potatoes and maybe a smoked ham, and they would barter this at the bank for some money to buy, you know, maybe some coffee or maybe a small bag of those, go uh, oh, back there, the candy cane candy. Because, you know, we wasn't rich, but we wasn't poor. We just lived off the farm, what we had. Christmas time, there was no toys. I was a teenager, and we were still getting gift bags with nuts, pecans, almonds, oranges, oranges apples, bananas, and the aroma, you know, that we didn't have Christmas trees. We went down the street, down the road here, and took out a cedar tree, small cedar, and it went into the most precious room of the whole house, which was the living room. And the bags, these were, and, and they were free, they were, you had to purchase the little brown so much just to walk into grandma's house and you have to do that every Sunday you went to one or the other grandma or grandpa's home but the aroma of a baked turkey and a, a ham the smoke then you walk into this living room with the trees and all that fruit smell you know I can remember I can smell it now as a, you know, from 50 years ago it's unbelievable Smelly stuff in the corner was called 
that sourdough starter, uh -huh. sourdough biscuits, sourdough bread. Stunk like the dickens, but it made the best biscuits for breakfast on a cast iron skillet on a wood-burning stove in the middle of a kitchen, even on a hot summer day.